Hi. So today we're going to answer some questions. We're going to do some further investigation on uh, this fan. This is the fan from last video, the four blade, uh, four scoop fan design. Essentially, it's the crowdsourcing fan. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, essentially what is happening, the subscribers are leaving me comments on these various videos of things they want to change about this fan. And I go in there, redesign it based on what they wanted and print it out. And this is the last one we made. We wanted, we originally started with a a, a double scoop and then we progressed to this thing and we're slowly turning into a regular fan a lot of you guys have commented that's kind of funny I'm like we're gonna do all this work and essentially just turn into a knock to it and i was like eh, maybe but this is what we got to last time it worked it wasn't better but uh, a lot of the comments that i've seen so far are um five blades everybody wants five blades they say that's the that's the spot they want to be at they want to get rid of the ring they say ring goes away and uh owls a lot of comments on owls, how quiet they fly. So I have been doing a bit of research on owls. Uh, and I wouldn't say I was an owl expert, but I have been looking into the reason why they fly so quiet. And I'm going to try to incorporate owl feathers or owl, owl feather design into the next version, but I haven't made it yet. But there's also something that keeps popping up and that is these vortex generators. Do they do anything? Do they just, do they hurt the performance? Do they make it louder? Do they make it better? I don't know. Um, essentially when I put them on there, I did it mostly because I thought they looked cool. I, I mean, let's be honest. Uh, I didn't even think they did anything on my Evo or I guess I wanted them for my Evo, never had them. Uh, but I was not convinced they did anything for an, of, of my Evo, even though I seen other ones with it. So I was not convinced they were going to do anything with for a fan, but I could be wrong. And a lot of you guys don't know either. You think, yes, no, maybe so. I don't know. So that's what we're going to do today. A little bit of investigation because I have printed out another one. This one is green. These are the same exact P or PLA. They're both from Mitsubishi Chemical, MCPP, both of these exactly the same um, style. So they're both like a satin. This is obviously pink. This is what they call grass green, but essentially the same thing other than the pigment. So this fan is essentially, I took the fan and just deleted the, uh, vortex generator. Since it was the last thing I added to the fan, I could have just deleted it from the model. It was quite easy. Printed a new one out. And today we're going to do some investigation on, on what these do or don't do. So I haven't tested, I haven't even used this yet. So I, this could be better. Who knows? So essentially I've taken away the 360. We now have a 240. Uh, the pump and everything's running. I'm running a test just to kind of get the loop cycled and hot. We're going to use one side of it because I don't have 120. So we'll just use this side of the 240 or yeah, 240. We'll run the tests and we'll just go from there. So I guess we'll just write down things. Um, paper, paper. I don't I'll find paper, but essentially we're going to go through different tests, tally up the score, and at the end decide, should we keep them or should we lose them? I hope we keep them because I think they're cool. I think the first test we should run is a noise test. A lot of you guys think that maybe they create turbulence. I mean, that's kind of, kind of what they're, the purpose of them is, but you think that turbulence might be causing additional noise. So we're going to compare this one to this one in a super scientific method, and that is just going to be, let's listen to it because not only it, it might be louder, but the pitch of uh, the noise kind of determines how annoying it is. <coughs> but we'll listen to it. I'll measure it with my phone o meter and then we'll kind of just make a gut call on what we think. And if you disagree, let me know. First up, Vortex Generator. It's gonna turn it on and listen. And we'll, have a, we'll have a listen, see if it sounds loud or quiet compared to the other. Okay, remember that. And we'll just swap the blades themselves, given these fans are hot swappable. So essentially we're using the same frame, same motor, same position, same everything, just different blades. I don't know, what do you guys, what do you think? I think it sounds pretty pretty much the same. So I'll find my phone in the app and we'll see if it measures anything. So I got the phone app out, the, the old decibel meter, super sophisticated. And essentially we're just gonna measure the sound of the room, then we'll measure the green fan and then the pink fan and see if there's any difference because I can't, honestly I can't hear one. Now I'm just gonna kind of hold it here, here, because if I set it on the table, it'll pick up some vibration. 
So I'm just going to do my best to keep it as similar as possible in the distance and we're just going to let it go and see what happens. So let's see what the room's sound is. So I'll hit uh, refresh and we'll just be quiet. So we'll call that 37. It's about 37 dB. It's bouncing a little bit, but 37 makes it easy. So now we'll turn the green one on and repeat the process. So we'll settle at 46 for the one with no vortex generators. So that one's showing 46 one. Um, it's probably safe to say no discernible difference. Uh, and that's kind of what it sounded like. They didn't sound any different to me. I mean, no, I, I, I didn't hear any difference. So we'll call that a tie. Now we'll do the all important cooling test. So, uh, dang, this one takes a while too. So we'll do 45 minutes on the cooling loop on one side of this radiator. So we'll start with the pink fan. The loop is pretty much normalized at this point and we'll just let it run. And I'll be back to you when this one's done. 45 minutes later, we are looking at an average temperature of 83 for the pink uh, vortex generator fan. So now it's time to write that down and we're gonna swap it out for the green guy. Run it again. So be back in another split second. So another 45 minutes has flown, flown by. So what's the temps? Ah, I don't have my mouse. One second. Got it. Okay, so let's see. 83.4, so just like the sound test, looks like another tie. So, so far we've proven uh, really nothing, I guess. The, the vortex generators are not increasing the sounds. They're not diminishing or reducing sound either. They're not helping or hurting cooling. Essentially, they're just lo looking cool, which is, <laughs> which is kind of the point, I guess. I don't know. I guess technically you could, we could take them down. If you were to uh, look at the scale of them versus the, the, the airfoil or the fan blade, it's quite large. They're more like winglet size you'd see on aircraft. They, they normally, they are quite a bit smaller, but if they were smaller, they would lose resolution. You wouldn't be able to see them as coolly, as coolly, as easily, and they wouldn't look as cool. But I'm not seeing any downside to having them. Now, I wonder if they're doing anything. And by doing anything, I mean, are they creating any, any type of uh, disruption in the, in the airflow? And there's really only one way to see that or try to see that and that's smoke machine and I always love a good excuse to use the smoke machine and this is one reason why we're doing this video is because a lot of you guys are like smoke machine and I was like okay so that's what we're going to try to do we'll take this fan out to the g Raj and we'll blow the smoke machine at it and see if we notice any difference in the airflow that we're not seeing in our sound and thermal tests now I wish I don't have like a proper high speed camera uh, maybe one day uh, get subscribed so we can get that get those numbers up so I can get some cooler cooler stuff around here and we'll we'll get a high-speed camera because I think that'd be really cool but I do have a phone and the phone can do okay so we'll see what we can see and we'll just blow some smoke around and see see what happens so to the garage let's go so this is the this is the testing area out in the garage uh, really I really need to get my basement done I'm at the point actually where it's time to start drywalling except for I don't know how to drywall so I need to get a lift and some skill and then hopefully I get that done so we can move down there. But for now, this is going to have to do. So the idea, smoke machine and some garden hose. So the problem with the smoke machine is that when you turn it on, it's, pre it's pretty aggressive. So we need to slow it down and be able to control it. And that's where this garden hose comes in. We're going to fasten it onto the end of this thing like so. And then as soon as this clears up a little bit, you'll be able to hopefully see that it slows down a little bit and it's easier to point it where we want it to go. See, much better. So that's the idea. So I'm going to use some of this foil tape to attach it to the smoke machine. And then we're going to use our helping hands to try to hold the fan and the nozzle or the, the garden hose to where we need it to be. And then we're just going to observe that should be attached. Oh yeah, beautiful. So back it up. There you go, easy. So now let's uh, power the fan up and observe the results. 
It works better than I thought, so let's see how it looks. I don't know what to tell you. I've been at it for uh, a few minutes here. Let's, let's just go back inside to the air conditioning and let's talk about it. So I, I sat out there for a little bit uh, running different tests with the smoke. I ran it with a hose on there like I showed you guys with so a nice focused, slow moving uh, stream of smoke. And I did it from the front and I did it from the side um, of both fans. And when I did it on the green fan, things looked pretty normal as so did the pink one. And basically the pink one has, you know, it has the vortex generators where the green one doesn't. And based on just how the smoke came out of the tube, I didn't notice any difference. Then I decided, well, maybe we'll look at the larger picture. So I backed the uh, smoke machine up. I put a little tar cardboard cube tube in front of it from a paper towel holder, as you've seen. And I just kind of let it more, more free flow around to the fan. And again, I didn't notice any difference between the pink blades and the green blades or the vortex generated blades and the uh, smooth blades. So in the end, I think that there is no reason to have these, but there's also no reason not to have these. They look awesome um, in, a, in a normal manufacturing process. This intricate detail, if it didn't add anything to the fan, would be worthless and cost a lot of money to make. But with a 3D printer, it doesn't matter. The printer doesn't care if you have a thousand of these or one or none. It, 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 could, it could care less. It's going to cost the same amount. Maybe you maybe lose a little bit of filament. But either way, because we're 3D printing it, we don't lose anything. So I think we should keep them because they look sweet. Uh, but I guess I'll leave it up to you guys. What do you think? Because these things don't do anything, should we keep them just because they look sweet or should we just get them out of here? They're unneeded, unneeded geometry that we can focus our efforts somewhere else. So you're gonna have to let me know in the comments. Make sure to get subscribed because um, if you're just stumbling into this video, we are currently in process of trying to design a fan based around what the comment section wants. And right now, like I said at the beginning of the video, five blades is where we want to be, no ring, and owl feathers. So get subscribed, get commenting, so I can know which direction to go to. And in the next video, we'll be testing either another fan, some other goofy thing I made. Who knows? It's, it all could change tomorrow when somebody throws me a comment that just blows my mind like the, uh, the, the cooling tower. So get subscribed. We'll see you next time. Oh, you still here? All right, if you made it this far, I'm gonna show you something. So I have been printing something special. Oh, it's so dark. Hang on, hang on. Brighten it up. Oh, it's out of focus. There you go. So that, so a lot of the fans I printed are just kind of models or copies. This is one that I designed specifically for 3D printing so I didn't have to use any support. The blades are exactly two layers line, or wide, so based on the nozzle size. And if you look down the center, we got a two, a dual disc design. So the inside is more of a standard Noctua design where it's nine blades kind of swept forward. And the outside is 31 blades that are more of a straight twist, like a turbine. Very interesting to see what this does how it sounds. So this should be interesting. So keep a lookout for this video. Coming soon.